This is Will Nunziata, New York City-based director and creator of theater, television, and film. And today I am thrilled to be speaking with acclaimed singer-songwriter, the one and only Mara Streppa. But before hello. we get to our interview, hello, before <laughs> we get to our interview, here is a sneak peek at Mara's incredible talent with the music video for her original song, Line Dance. Oh, it's last call and I'm in last call. You don't think of me until they turn the lights off. Man, the music low, it's such a low. so much better now that we're finally meeting and also uh, this is what I love about this app here you are in Nashville I'm in New York City and we're talking offline we know so many people in common you saw my brother at some sort of you know round table sing sing along in Nashville uh-huh. hello it's a small world it's crazy how the connections always work out I'm a firm believer that good people eventually meet good people and Mara you are one of the good ones I want to know first and foremost Talk to me a little bit about the impetus behind creating not only the song Line Dance, but also the music video. Yeah, so um, when I moved to Nashville, I wasn't really country. I was more bluesy pop, and I just started writing with a bunch of country writers, and I started listening to a lot more classic country, and I was venting about a boy, as I typically do in my co-writes, and... um, you know, I was saying something along the lines of like, are we in this? Are we not? Like, if we're just like dancing around it. And my co-writer looked at me and goes, you're doing a line dance. And I was like, that's the song. So we started writing it. We knew we wanted it to be a hoedown, throwdown country tune. And that's what we did. So once I, we wrote that song and I started playing it around Nashville, I knew that it was something that resonated with people and something that I wanted to put out. And I did, and I went full out. I am definitely somebody that does not dance around something. If I want it, I'll get it and I'll do it. So I knew that I wanted to do a music video. I am friends with the owner of the bar that we filmed in. So he was graceful enough to let us use it. I got some of my friends to come and be extras. And my friend is choreographer, so she created a dance for it. And we just kind of all came together and my buddy Tyler filmed it and I helped edit it and he colored it and did all that kind of stuff. And then we put it out. I freaking love it. I love it. And it also is so, it's so cool to also know a little bit about your backstory, Mara, that you weren't ever pigeonholing even your musical tastes into one genre. So it makes sense that all of the music out there of you that you've created and put out it, it doesn't, it's not just one type of sound, it's a fusion of sorts. I want to know growing up in Chicago, the type of music that you did grow up listening to and who your artistic influences and inspirations were. Yeah, so my dad is the biggest music lover that you'll ever meet and he's tone deaf, but luckily he's been able to live vicariously through me and my music. Um, but I grew up listening to the band and Grateful Dead and Little Feet, um, Joni Mitchell, Carol King, kind of in that realm of music, a lot of Americana, Bob Dylan is one of my biggest influences and he was definitely playing in our household 24 seven. Um, so I grew up listening to that and I definitely think it still holds influence in my music today. Um, Line Dance definitely has more of a Johnny Cash, Dolly Parton vibe to it, but they're the great, so I'm not mad about it. Um, but I didn't really grow up listening to country. And then I moved to North Carolina when I was going into middle school and definitely got a little more of the country influence when I was in the South. And then I fell in love and moved to Nashville and now I'm here. Well, and not only are you there, you are working 
so much this month. I want everyone to just please go to the links below, especially your website that shows you have a bunch of dates coming up in Nashville in February. Um, I want to know, Mara, obviously this has been a tough time for all humans, but especially artists. How are you able to kind of get up out of bed every day and just do the thing? I mean, obviously you seem like someone who's self-motivated, positive thinker, filled with gratitude. But, you know, for those maybe artists out there that are having still a tough time, I guess I'm just curious, maybe some, you know, tips you could give them in maybe activating that pilot light. Mm -hmm. I think the music drives itself but to get the ball rolling using whatever feelings that may not be positive ones and turning them into song has always been such a therapeutic process for me there's a lot of pressure i think to put out every single thing that you create and that leaves a lot of room for judgment and sometimes you just got to write the songs that you need to write for you to have and they don't have to be anybody else's songs and so a lot of times, you know, when it's really, really late at night and I'm up thinking and my head's running and I'm like, oh my gosh, what am I doing? What I should just go work a nine to five. What's happening with music? I'm like, well, let me sit and write about this. And then I allow the music to take over and show me why I love this business and why I want to keep doing it and why I push myself and play X many shows a week just because it's what deep down I really love and really am passionate about. So. I, I let the music speak for itself. <laughs> Mara, I love that. It's almost like it's just getting back to basics, getting mm -hmm. pen to paper and letting it out instead of it fester. Um, Mara Starpa, I could speak with you forever. I'm sure we're going to meet one day in Nashville. Literally, when we get off, I'm going to be texting. I'm going to be literally screenshotting your schedule of February, and I'm going to tell my brother, he better get his butt into one of your shows, take a selfie with you, and I'm just going to you know, put my face in <laughs> front of in his. Um, Perfect. You're welcome for all the specifics. But in any event, Mara Strepa, you are incredible. You're an incredible artist for someone so young, so accomplished, I think so inspiring. I mean, I'm thinking about all the young Mara Strepas out there, you know, who, who may not live in Nashville or New York or LA, and you just did the thing and you continue to unapologetically just go after it. Where does that, where do you think that fire comes from? Honestly, my parents and just the way that they raised me and I'm the youngest of five and my siblings are all a lot older than me. And so they, you know, had a big helping hand in the way that I grew up and everyone has always been so supportive of me chasing my dreams. And I've always wanted to do music and it's always been a part of my life. And, you know, it's cheesy, but I always remind myself like shoot for the stars and land on the moon. Mm. And if you miss land on the moon, but, um, yeah, I just think the way that my parents raised me and they've always, they've really instilled a strong work ethic and have always said, if you work for what you want, you're going to get it. So that's just been my driving force. Amen on that. Well, I'm going to leave it on that. Mara Strepa, I'm so excited you're joining this new social media platform, but selfishly, I'm so excited that we are now connected. Amazing. It's been so nice talking with you. Oh, you too. <laughs>